All right, so now that the game is created, let's build the game so it could be a standalone executable. First of all, make sure everything is saved and things are working the way you want it. So I'm just gonna save this one last time. Then in Unity, select File, Build Settings. We're just gonna make a standalone version and I'm gonna focus on Windows, but I'll mention something about Mac as well. So I've got this selected and choose the target platform for the one you're working on. Once again, I'm using Windows. In the Scenes and Build, if I've only got one working, I can just leave this as is, but otherwise I can click on Add Open Scenes or drag scenes from my project panel. If there are scenes that I don't want to include, I would uncheck them. Now by default, this will take up full screen, but since I don't have a way to exit, I would like to make it windowed. So I'm going down to Player Settings, and in the resolution and presentation section, I'm going to change my full screen mode to windowed. And if I want to, I can change my, my resolution. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Then I can close this panel. When I'm ready, I can go ahead and click on build and choose a location. Just to make it simple, I am going to keep it in my project folder. In the, in the root, but I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it builds. And I'm going to select that folder. And it's going to go ahead and make an executable. Now if I was working on a Mac, it makes an app bundle that holds everything I need, but for Windows, it's going to make an executable plus a data folder. So if I want to send this to somebody, I still need to include that data folder. And I can close this. And here is the folder that opened and notice I have my data and there is my rollerball executable and I can go ahead and double click on that and here's my game so I'm gonna try that out it's counting fine and I won. And since it's windowed, it's nice, I can go up here and close it. So I really like the rollerball as an example for getting collisions and creating things from scratch. I hope you enjoyed my kind of briefer version of it. And if you'd like, check out my channel for some other videos on general programming and some Unity specific things.